Hello. In this video, we are going to compare the synthesis of nitriles from three different types of three carbon substrates. The first type is going to be the one halo propane. The second is going to be the three halo propene, which is also the allylic substrate. And the third and final three carbon substrate is going to be the two halo propanes. We are going to look at the nucleophilic attack of cyanide on one substituted propanes. So for example, here we have one bromopropane, and as we'd expect, the product of the reaction is going to be the butane nitrile here, there, or butyronitrile, and bromide as the leaving group. So our major organic product is the nitrile. And this is by far the most effective way to synthesize nitriles in the laboratory. So please see the following computed structures of the reactants, the products, the transition states, and then see the table which lists the values, particularly for the energies of activation, which change depending upon the identity of the leaving group. And realize that the smaller the energy of activation, the quicker the reaction takes place, the more favorable it is, the more quickly it takes place, the more uh, effective the leaving group is. You also see for comparison, the overall enthalpies of reaction for those uh, particular cases. Now suppose that we react cyanide ion with a 2-halo propane substrate, such as 2-bromopropane. Notice here that we have a secondary carbon attached to the leaving group. And recall that secondary substrates are generally very ineffective in SN2 reactions. Naively, we might predict that this would proceed like an ordinary SN2 reaction in that we would have heterolytic bond cleavage of the carbon-bromine bond so that bromine would leave as bromide. We would have nucleophilic attack of the nucleophile cyanide onto the secondary carbon of the 2-bromopropane. We might imagine, still naively, 
that our major organic product would have this structure, which we would call 2-methyl propane nitrile with leftover bromide as our leaving group. This is incorrect. We have to recall also that not only is cyanide a good nucleophile, it is also a relatively strong base. In the presence of a secondary or particularly a tertiary substrate, but in this case a secondary substrate, the elimination will proceed so effectively that we will essentially get none of this product and we would only get the elimination product. Therefore, for the synthesis of nitriles, uh, this particular method of nucleophilic attack of cyanide on a secondary substrate is synthetically worthless. It will not give us the product that we want. So please see the following computed structures for the imagined reaction, uh, the, the reactants, the products, and the transition state for the SN2 attack of cyanide onto this secondary substrate, keeping in mind though that in reality the energy of activation for elimination is so much smaller with these particular reactants that we would get the elimination product and not the uh, nucleophilic substitution reaction. Now suppose that we react cyanide ion with an allylic substrate such as 3-chloropropene. Cyanide is our nucleophile and recall that it attacks from the carbon end of the carbon-nitrogen triple bond and our leaving group is going to be chlorine as chloride so this bond breaks heterolytically so that chlorine leaves with the electron pair and then a nucleophile attacks the alpha carbon displacing chloride in a synchronized one-step process which we call the SN2 reaction. The major organic product is the compound shown here which is 3-butene nitrile, and we are left with chloride from our leaving group. We could also have used bromine or iodine as effective 
leaving groups. We will show also calculations in the case of fluoride for comparison, but recall that fluoride is a poor leaving group, as is cyanide itself. Please see the following computed structures for the reactants, the products, and the transition states for this SN2 reaction on the allylic substrate. Please see the following tables showing the computed energies of activation and enthalpies of reaction for the reactions uh, that we have discussed in this video. One particular note to uh, look at in Table 4, it gives a summary of all the reactions on all three types of substrates. And an important thing to notice is that our general rule that bromine is going to be a better leaving group than chlorine and chlorine is going to be a better leaving group than fluorine is consistently shown. Even though we have not shown the calculations for iodine, from experimental evidence, iodine would be an even more effective leaving group uh, than bromine. The other thing to notice is that if we compare the one halo substrates with the allylic substrates, the three halo propenes, that the allylic substrates are slightly more effective than the uh, one halo propanes. So we see that another example of the allylic group uh, being even more favorable than a simple primary substrate for SN2 reaction. Lastly, in the case of the two halo propanes, even by computation, we see that the energies of activation are greater than for either the allylic or the one halo substrates, which is in line with our general understanding of the uh, effect of the, uh, the nature of the carbon that is attacked, whether it's a methyl, primary, secondary, or tertiary, and the effectiveness of SN2, recall that the most effective is going to be a methyl carbon followed by a primary and then perhaps, if it's even possible, a secondary. And that tertiary uh, carbons do not undergo SN2 reactions at all. Here we, again we have the uh, contributing factor that since the cyanide ion is a sufficiently strong base that even though we have not shown the computations for it, that elimination will end up being the predominant reaction and that even though we can compute the energies of activation for the SN2 reaction, the SN2 reaction does not take place in reality with cyanide.
I again thank you very much for your kind attention. Don't forget to like and subscribe. As always, have a good one.